Happy New Year! I have been way out of the game for way too long. I got the flu, then my kids got the flu, then it was Christmas, then it was New Year's, and I'm finally back and feeling amazing and very blessed to not have the flu. Very, very happy. If you got the flu this year, I'm very sorry. But what I wanted to talk about today is it's the new year, right? Happy New Year to you. And this is the time of year where I see people buying planners and I see all these crazy goal setting things. And one thing I see that's missing from all of that, this is exactly what I wanted to talk about today, is learning. So I want you to ask yourself a question. What are you going to learn this year? How are you going to grow this year? And I'm going to give you a couple of things, very simple things you can do. The first one is I want you to decide what is it that you don't know. So it may be that you want to get your real estate license. It may be that you want to make more money. It may be that you want to do, you know, a ton of different things. But what is it that would help you make that goal happen? It's educating yourself. Educating yourself will always get you closer to goals. Something that's always made me sad to hear, whether it's in corporate America or in my current business, is I don't know how to do that. Okay, great. The first step is admitting that you don't know. The second step is figuring it out. You can't just stop with I don't know. So one thing you can do that is incredibly cheap is go get a library card if you don't have one. And then on in your spare time, on your lunch hour at work, whatever it is, peruse the library. You can actually put things on hold for free. And if they're out of stock, put it on hold, you know, put your name on the list. When it's available, they'll put it on the hold shelf for you. It's like the most amazing thing ever and it's free. You can keep be books for six weeks in some cases because you keep them for two weeks, you can renew them twice. So again, if you can't read a book in six weeks, you know, maybe you should do audio books, which are also offered at the library. When I decided to learn and grow myself, that is where I started. And because I wasn't sure what would be a good book, I actually took out, I think it was maybe 10. I took out 10 audiobooks. I'm not lying. Because I thought if one of these books doesn't speak to me, I'm now stuck until I can get back to the library. So I'll tell you right now by listening to audiobooks, especially free ones from the library, I listened to that year, which was 2015. I listened to 57 books that year. I'm not kidding you. And it changed my life because every time I read something, I learned something new. I created ownership in myself. I learned new skills and I became more whole. And so I want you to take the step of at least getting a library card. Now, you can also subscribe to magazines. I'm going to tell you all something else I do that you may think is a little weird and I'm okay with that. Every moment in my life, because I'm a parent, is very important to me. So, I have an electric toothbrush. Yes, there's a point to this story. And because it's electric, it's actually timed. So you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes. If you didn't know that, then you just learned something today. The toothbrush already is set to brush your teeth for two minutes. It turns off automatically. Well, to me, that's two minutes that I can learn because the toothbrush is doing the work, so I'm not just going to stand there and stare at myself in the mirror. I keep magazines by my sink, and I can typically read a small article during that two minutes. And I don't keep People Magazine, sorry if you read People Magazine, by my sink. I keep Parents Magazine, Entrepreneur, which is an amazing magazine. I also really like Working Mother, but it only comes out like every three months or something. So try to get something, oh, 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 the magazine. Oprah's Magazine, amazing magazine. Get magazines that fill you, that make you better, so that when you walk away, you have something to show for it. Instead of, oh, the prince is engaged, I know that's big right now. 
you can actually say what I do, what kind of annoys my husband, is I walk out of the bathroom and I'm like, oh, I have some sleep strategies or some potty training strategies. We're in potty training mode with my son. Or I learned something new to do with my business that I didn't know before from Entrepreneur Magazine. Or maybe I learned something that I can share with my clients in my life coaching business. Either way, I came away a better person after brushing my teeth and a better smile. So the other thing I want you to do to keep yourself accountable, and it's kind of fun because it also keeps you positive, is every day I want you to learn something. And it can be simple anything. I want it to all be positive though. I don't want anything like, I learned that people are bad because I sometimes read that on Facebook and it just saddens me because there are plenty of good people in this world. So what I want you to do is I want you to go out and buy in a very, very expensive journal. Let me show you mine. Yeah, it was a dollar. Go to Dollar Tree. They have like a thousand of these for a dollar. I also saw some journals at my Kroger. They were 99 cents. So there's nothing in it. Like it's blank. There's nothing, it's not gonna tell you anything. What I want you to do with this is write the date and write what you learned that day. It can be, today I solved something at work. I learned this, I learned teamwork. I want you at the end of the year to have 365 different things that you learned that made you 365 days better. Not 365 days older, 365 days better. So I really encourage you to get this and I really want you to learn. Now, I have one more question and then I'll let you go. What did I share this year? So if you're gonna do all this growing and all this learning, don't just keep it to yourself. I hate people who do that. That is like the most selfish thing on earth. Plus, how is that really helping anyone but you? And technically it's not even helping you because you're not doing anything with the information. So. What did you share? So I want you to also figure out a way, and I want you to do this once a week, not every day. How did I share this week? Did I share information? Did I share recipes? Did I share experiences with others? How did I help others on the journey to growth? I personally think that in this world, our goal is to unite and to help one another. We as human beings are supposed to be a community of helpers and learners. And this is my way of trying to create that. And I truly hope you do this. It costs you zero dollars. Okay, maybe, maybe it costs you a dollar. You probably have one of these lying around your house that so might not cost you anything. But think about it. How can you learn and better yourself? And how can you give and better others. Think about it.